Number 40 here is a little spin on what we did on the previous problem. In 37 and 38, we had to know how to factor a difference of cubes in order to pull this off. Now, in number 40, they give you something different up here in the numerator. That would be a sum of cubes. Okay, now a sum of cubes can be factored, everybody, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Although, there's another way around this problem as well, and it's a little method that I showed you guys in notes when we did 2.5. The denominator here is just a normal quadratic trinomial. So, um, real quickly, let me just pretend for a moment that I didn't remember how to factor a sum of cubes in the numerator. Let me show you how you might be able to work your way around this. Real quick, I'm sorry, what happens if we try direct substitution? Probably nothing. Nothing good. Negative 2 squared is 4. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus 8. Sure enough, that gets a 0. So not surprising. Let's see what we can do then. I would probably start factoring the denominator first just because it's easier. I'm sure all of you guys would agree with that. And we're going to end up here with an x and another x. There's the x squared. The signs are the same and they're both positive, plus and plus. And we need two numbers now that multiply to 8 and add up to 6. Pretty simply, that's going to be a 4 and a 2. Now, stop and ask yourself right now, which of those two factors in the denominator is the problem when x becomes negative 2? This one is fine. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. This one is the issue. Now, what that tells me, ladies and gentlemen, I would be shocked if x plus 2 weren't one of the factors of the numerator. I'm pretty darn sure x plus 2 goes in there. So the trick I showed you guys in class was to go to synthetic division. Now, don't bother writing this down for now, but negative 2 would go in the box, and then the coefficients here would come after that 1. But remember, guys, there is 0 for x squared, 0 for x, and then an 8 at the end there. And you could do synthetic division and figure out what quotient is going to go right here. So that's one thing to keep in your back pocket. If a question like this showed up on a test and you didn't remember how to factor a difference of cubes, excuse me, or in this case, a sum of cubes. So what are we going to work on now here, guys? All right, I am going to show you how to factor that sum of cubes. It starts off just the way a difference of cubes did with a binomial, and it begins with the cube root of your first term, which is going to be x. And just like I said in the previous video, whatever this sign is right here, that's the sign that comes down here next. Uh, in the previous example, you'll notice that was a minus and this was a minus, okay? But now here, it's plus and a plus. And then the cube root of this term, the cube root of 8 is 2, so we have an x plus 2 right there. Now, the only thing that changes next here is one of the signs. We begin, though, with the square root of this term, excuse me, the cube root of that term squared. So that's going to be an x squared right there. Now, here's where the sign flips around a little bit, guys. Now this is going to be a minus a times b. Two, uh, excuse me, x times 2 is going to get us a 2x right there. And then at the end, it's a plus, and then it's b squared. b is the cube root of 8, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. So that's what you're going to end up with in that numerator there, everybody. That is how a sum of cubes factors. And sure enough, the x plus 2 on the top, the x plus 2 on the bottom cancel out, and it looks like plug and chug is going to work now. So here we go. Into the numerator, a negative 2 squared is going to be a 4. Boy, this keeps happening. That's odd. And then a minus 2 times minus 2 is a plus 4. And at the end, a plus 4 as well. Boy, that's three problems in a row where we've had the same number added up three times. Down on the bottom, negative 2 plus 4 is going to get us a 2. So that looks like it's going to give us a 12 over 2. And our final answer for number 40 is going to be a limit of 6.